Happy, happy Monday. It's a glorious Monday. It's April the 11th. And it seems like Austin has money to waste. Austin has money to waste on nonsense. And I'm just going to get into it. There's a story off of um, a local station here, KXN. Austin and KNX, the city of Austin announced Monday it will work with nonprofit organizations and community partners to decimate or disseminate 20 million in anti displacement fund related to Project Connect. Project Connect is the railroad that they want to build, which will probably won't be ready until 2050. But I digress. Oh, yeah, it's not even going to be useful for most of the residents. But we must need it. We must must need it because it was voted on. The financial resources will be used to benefit residents who face vulnerability or vulnerable, chronic or active displacement risk, and live within one mile of Project Connect lines and stations. Per the release, our goal is to fund ideas proposed by organizations where community member drive decisions making housing and planning department. Director Rosie Trulove said in a release, we want local organizations to provide solutions to address the Austin displacement challenges. We also want to support the community and select the proposals to get funded. The city aimed to provide real help in real ways to folks who called Austin home. Specifically, the $20 million will be available for the following uses. Renter and tenant stabilizations. Expand homeowner opportunities in areas residents along Project Connect. Housing center focuses that support economic mobility opportunities, which I have no clue what that means. It seems like it's a whole lot of buzzwords. Supports economic mobility opportunities. That means nothing with no examples. This 20 million is funding a part of a 13 year, year, 300 million commitment to anti displacement resources. Austin City Council approved in March 65 million of anti displacement funding to be used during the first two years of the project's timeline along. Side the 20 million approved for nonprofit led resources. 23 million will go towards land acquisitions, and 21 million will go for land development. Project Connect has identified as a minimum of 302,000 people and 135,000, actually, 300. Two three hundred two thousand people and one hundred and thirty five thousand housing units located within one mile radius of include stations and lines. However, these data points are from twenty twenty estimates. I mean, old data is better than no data. City estimates reveal the following breakdown of residents living within one mile of the project's boundaries by race and ethnicity. Why did we got to break it down by race? Why are you driving the race narrative? We got to be better. In order to get past racism, we, we have to look past racism. And every number, doesn't matter if these people are male, female, white, another ethnic background, gay, lesbian, trans, it does not matter. These are just people. We don't need to qualify these. Racial and ethnic breakdowns of residents within one mile of the project connect boundaries. Here's a look at the city population that could be impacted by Project Connect using the 2020 demographic estimates. 50 of them will be Hispanic, like Latinos. And they're they're really trying to make Latinx a thing. I don't think it's gonna be a thing. Yet 33% which are white. You got 10% which are black African American. You got 3% which is Asian. Two or more races and other. 
The virtual information meeting will be held for interested group at 5.30 p.m. on April 20th. The deadline to apply is June 13th. Oops. Wait, the virtual will be held for interest in group at 5 p.m. On April, the deadline to apply, I guess, for the, for the economics is going to be June 13th at 4 p.m., which is kind of misleading because th this sentence, this, this little small little paragraph, Makes no sense, gets missing context. A virtual information meeting will be held for interested groups at 5.30 p.m. on April 20th. And I don't know what the deadline is applied because it's April and June is next month. So it must be if you're interested in getting part of the 20 million, the deadline is June 13. And if you're interested in going to the meeting, It'll be held at 5.30. All right, or unless that meant to be, say, April 13th at 4 p.m. I don't know. I don't know what they mean by it. I'm not the one who wrote it. But, you know, they got all this money to be, be spent, to waste it on. Now, I'm not, not going to say it's going to be wasted, but this $20 million could go towards funding AISD, which will reduce the school taxes. Slightly, I mean, it may be a hundred for for property owners, like a hundred dollars savings, which it's not a whole lot in the whole scheme of things. But a hundred dollars saved is a hundred dollars saved, and I think it should have gone towards that because the people could afford their homes. It's just they can't afford taxes, and of course, the taxes are held held behind escrows, and a lot of people have escrows, so they don't really understand. How much they're really being taxed because most of the time their banks handle the escrows. They just pay a monthly bill and call it a day and they don't really know that because most people don't own their homes. They're just paying off a loan towards their home. And most of the time people pay it off. It usually takes 15, 30 years to pay off. And most of the time people don't stay at a house for more than 10 years and they move or they downsize and then start the process all over again. But really, over half of my taxes went to the school district. And I was 4.4K a year. And I don't even have kids. And I'm not really complaining. I mean, I am complaining. But I'm not mad that I'm paying school taxes. The part that I'm complaining about is over half of my property taxes went to the school district and that made it around seven almost 8k that I have to come up with now next year I'll probably be over 8k and probably 4.7 of that of 7k is going to be in school taxes because the school has to raise all this money and half of it goes to the state to fund poorer school district. I'm not even mad about that. I understand that certain school districts need a little bit extra help to create a standard education. I do understand that and I accept that. But at the same time, our city, city of Austin, pays the most. You got Houston, you got Dallas, and you got San Antonio, which are larger cities and pay a lot less to the school forever for the Texas school fund through Robin Hood. I don't know. I mean, it looks like just a lot of money that's being wasted. That could have gone towards reducing property tax. Because when you reduce property tax, you're going to reduce rent. When you reduce rent, you're going to have less displaced people. Because a lot of these people being pushed out are renters and low-income homes, homeowners that can't afford taxes. Now, there are some people who go on a payment plan who spread the uh, their burden over throughout the year, but they tack on interest and penalties, which is not necessarily fair towards low income because it just means that they can never get ahead. They're always paying the bare minimum. And then once that's done, then they got to go pay for another year and another year and another year. 
and not a whole lot of people can afford to do that and just renting their their house from the from the city. I don't know. Something needs to be done with property tax here in Texas, especially in Austin. I understand rising homes means rising taxes. I wish the city will go in and and freeze the value of the home until it's sold again. And whenever it's sold at a higher level, then then that gets applied. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of funny funny business going on city council to help reduce I say reduce in quotations what they're doing is they're lowering the the tax rate but they're also increasing the value so it's either the same amount or it's actually higher because they're raising the value and I don't agree with that anyways what do you think do you have a good weekend let me know about your weekend leave a comment down below smash the like and subscribe button on any all platforms or just the platform you're currently watching but most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.